Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big no matter what sport you're betting on and win big consistently. So we are entering the final stages of August and the Major League Baseball season. Not much left to be played, just a little over a month and the pennant races are heating up. There are many teams left in the playoff chase. So we have a lot of good matchups here in store for you for this weekend. So if you're not already a member, please join. You can access this section that I'm at right now. The VIP club section has all the greatest tools uh, for you to uh, make your predictions for the games. So we're going to scroll down through here and take a look at some of the matchups. And the first game, the first weekend matchup we want to look at is the Washington Nationals versus the Chicago Cubs. So right now you can see the Nationals are burning hot at the moment and they have won five out of their last six games. <clears throat> the Cubs are average up, and after a four-game losing streak, they have won their last two. You look at the power rankings indicator between these two teams, you can see that the Nationals are at plus 22, the Cubs are at plus 15. If you're considering betting the over-under, take a look at to the totals predictor, comparing the red line to the, uh, to the blue line. The blue line is the baseline, and the red line shows here that Washington is playing in games trending over, while the Cubs are also playing in games trending over. So you can bet the over on games in this series. You can also take a look here at the uh, volatility oscillator to see how stable the two teams are. You can see the Nationals and the Cubs are both relatively stable teams. Nationals more so than the Cubs. And what this means is that the teams are performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status indicates. Now, I want to take a look here at the pitcher profit oscillator. So when you look at the pitcher profit oscillator, actually you want to access it at the top here. You go to the top here, and under the uh, bonus tools, you see oscillator. So when you bring up the pitcher profit oscillator, I have here the two teams. For the teams, the Nationals and the Cubs, and the two pitchers, I put in Friday's pitchers, Anibal Sanchez and John Lester. And if you scroll down through here, you can see uh, their trend here, profit margin trend. You can see here that Anibal Sanchez is at minus 2,228. The red is always bad. Of course, the green is always good, and Lester is at a positive 174. So you can see there's a huge advantage here in terms of pitcher profit uh, for John Lester. So that's what that's what, how this is. So whenever I mention the pitcher profit oscillator and the numbers, this is what I'm referring to. If we go back to the matchup here, let's scroll back down here to our matchup. Um, first one on the list. There we go. Cubs and Nationals. So. Uh, as far as the rest of the pitchers go, um, Cole Hamels on Sunday for the Cubs at plus 1,609. That's a good uh, bet over Steven Strasburg, who is at plus 200. If you look here, you can also look down here at the comments. I put comments in here. You can see here there's a comment section. Mine's right in here. You can see what I put. And other people eventually will put comments in here as well. That might help you a little bit as far as what you want to do for your for your bets. So anyway, it looks very well that the Cubs will take care of business at home and find a way to win two games in this series this weekend. Go down through here to another key matchup for the weekend. And there's a bunch of games here, but I'm skipping some of these. Go down here, Arizona and Milwaukee. You see right now that both teams are not playing very well at the moment. Arizona's ice cold up. Milwaukee is ice cold down. As far as the standings go, they are both third in their respective divisions, the NL West and the NL Central. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that Milwaukee is on a clear downward trend. They are at plus 11. They have a slight plus 11, plus 10 advantage over Arizona. Look at the totals predictor. If you're considering the over-under, you can see that Arizona is playing in games well under. And also see that Milwaukee is playing in games a little bit over. So in that case, I would avoid betting the over-under in games for this series because they are trending on opposite sides of the line. If we look here at the volatility oscillator, you'll see that neither team is extremely stable as well. You know, just plus two and plus five. So take it lightly as far as the uh, favorite underdog status for games in this series. If you look at the uh, pitching matchups, uh, Taylor Clark has the best chance for the uh, Diamondbacks this weekend, he is at plus 519 on Friday, going against Jordan Lyles, who is minus 1823. 
Chase Anderson is not a very good bet for Milwaukee also on, on Saturday at minus 1,011, but neither is Merrill Kelly for the Diamondbacks. Sunday is the best chance for Milwaukee with Zach Davies on the mound. He's at plus 1,436. Milwaukee is a solid 10 games over 500 at home this season and should have an edge in that department because of, because of being at home and playing so well at home. The pick is for Milwaukee to win this series two games to one. Go down through here. Los Angeles at Houston. Another really good matchup. This is in the AL West. Los Angeles is third in the division. Houston is tops in the division. You see the Angels are average at the moment. They have won four out of their last six. Houston is average up. They have won two out of their last six. They're coming off a bad four-game losing streak, but you see the last two they have taken. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you will see that Houston is at plus 20. The Angels are on an upward trend. They are at plus 15. Considering the over-under in this series, well, let's take a look. You can see here that the Angels are playing in games well over the line. And if you go down through here, Houston is playing in games over the line too. So it's a very safe play to bet the over in games in this series for this weekend. We want to take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator, which I always like to do. It gives you a good indication how well the pitchers are performing and, and their betting status. So if you look at that, we will take a look and see that Griffin Canning is at plus 148. And Dylan Peters is at plus 167. Those are the two best bets for the Angels on Saturday and Sunday. Zach Greinke is a clear bet on Friday. He is at plus 2,767 in profit, you know, well above Jose Suarez minus 800, or excuse me, minus 85. So that is a clear win probably for Houston. So I also want to look here at the volatility oscillator. You can see here, as far as being stable, Houston is extremely stable at plus 39. They're performing very, very well according to their favorite underdog status. Being that they're at home and excellent at home, they have a clear advantage. They will win two out of three and possibly even sweep the series over the Angels. And you can see here, I have my comments here as well. You can see, you can read that and get a little bit of a better idea of how I feel these games will go. So, we will go down through here to a couple more. We will take a look at the Rockies and the Cardinals. The Rockies are last in the NL West, and the Cardinals are first in the Central. But you can see the Rockies are burning hot at the moment, winners of four out of their last six. The Cardinals are average up, winners of four out of their last six as well, and winners of their last two. Again, you can see my comments here about the matchup. The power rankings indicator, you can see that the Cardinals have an advantage, not a real huge advantage, but they have a, a plus 18 to plus 14 advantage. Take a look at the totals predictor if you're considering the over and under. Colorado is playing in games slightly over. Cardinals are playing in games well under. You might want to say that's a push, but I would lean towards the under because of the Cardinals games are well under compared to just the slightly over for Colorado. If we take a look now at the volatility oscillator, see the uh, the Rockies are the much more stable team than the Cardinals. So that doesn't mean that they have a better chance of winning. It means that they're performing more towards their favorite underdog status indicates. And considering they're on the road likely to be underdogs, this is even more reason to bet the Cardinals in games in this series. Finally, if we take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator, Let's take a look, see which the best pitchers are for this series. Dakota Hudson is the best bet for the Cardinals on Saturday. Or excuse me, on Sunday. Now, actually, no, he's pitching on Saturday. Sorry, Dakota Hudson is on Saturday at plus 734. Kyle Freeland is the best chance for the Rockies to take a game in this series. Here's at plus 1,541. Cardinals will win two out of the three in this series. They could have a tough time sweeping. They could do it, but I would lean more towards just a two-to-one series win and not bet for the sweep. Now, finally, the best matchup, and which could be a World Series preview, the New York Yankees and the Los Angeles Dodgers, the top two teams in baseball at the moment. The Yankees are average right now, winners of four out of their last six, coming up a loss to Cleveland. The Dodgers are average down at the moment. They haven't been playing great lately, but they're still the best team in the National League. They are 3-3 three three over the last six, and they have lost their last two to the Atlanta Braves. 
If you look here at the power rankings indicator, you can see that the teams are well up here at the top. The Yankees at plus 29, the Dodgers at plus 26. Considering the over-under, let's take a look at the totals predictor. You see that the Yankees are playing in games trending over. The Dodgers are playing in games trending over. Safe bet to play the over in games in this series as well. If we take a look at the pitching matchups, you'd go to the uh, pitcher profit oscillator. Um, the best bet for the Dodgers is Clayton Kershaw on Sunday at plus 1,452. Hyunjin Ro is at plus 786 on Friday. He's also a very good bet. For the Yankees, Domingo German is their best bet at plus 802, but he's going up against Kershaw, so that will be an excellent matchup on Sunday. I think the Dodgers will take care of the home advantage, and they will win the series two games to one. So one more thing before we, we head off here. It's not about baseball, but it's something that with the NFL season coming up, you want to take a look at this year. It's the NFL countdown, NFL betting strategies, B2.0. So you can see here, this is coming up here. It says this summer's decode system has presented several NFL betting strategy and hack articles to help you make more profits in wagering on football all season long. So here's one here you can take a look at. All you have to do is click on this link right here. It says, so what are your Z code systems NFL betting strategies V2.0? So you can read down through here and you can see what's happening. And these are some really good strategies as, you, as you, the NFL football season is about to kick off in just a few weeks. And then here's the pitcher profit oscillator again and back to the picks. So there you have it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the games this weekend. Happy betting, and we will see you next week.